All right, today I'm looking at a uh, M squared five element uh, six meter beam that uh, that I picked up at the fall uh, 2013 near fest in uh, Deerfield, New Hampshire. Um, got the antenna for a decent price. Uh, it's uh, it's all here except for the uh, the reflector. Um, I have the hardware for the reflector. Uh, it's in the garage right now, and the hardware just really consists of the that top saddle there and uh, the stainless steel uh, hardware, and then a couple of inserts that go inside the uh, the three eight inch tubing to keep it from collapsing here. Um, so I've just got to get some more three eight inch tubing at the right length and finish off the reflector. Uh, but here I'm just kind of piecing everything back together just to make sure it goes back together and make sure that I have everything. And then uh, I might throw it up on my test pole just to uh, see how it looks. Alright, so I'm looking at my uh, 6 meter uh, Yagi here. This is the one that I picked up at Nearfest. And uh, you can see here, it's up on my test pole just to check everything out mechanically. And you can kind of see that the boom is bent right in the middle. And the previous owner told me that that probably was going to be the case since this was on a tower that uh, that had kind of come down um, this antenna didn't uh, completely get destroyed obviously uh, but he did say it suffered this this little bit of a kink in the middle and of course the uh, the reflector uh, elements got broken um. all right so I'm back working on the uh, M squared 6m 5x antenna and uh, this is the antenna that I picked up at a flea market and uh, I need um, to replace the uh, the reflector. And from the drawing here, you can see that the rods are 58.812 inches. And uh, I've been able to find some solid 3 8 aluminum rod. Uh, I would prefer hollow, uh, but this seems to be uh, all I can find locally uh, without trying to order anything. So uh, I've got this one piece. This is six feet long. Um, so I'll cut this to length, and then I've got to go to the hardware store and see if they have any more. Uh, the last time I was there, this is the uh, the only piece that they have. And then, okay, so I got my new elements all cut to length here. You can see there and there, uh, both 58.812 uh, inches or 13 sixteenths, 58 and 13 sixteenths roughly. And then uh, drilled a hole in the uh, in the rod here. Um, of course that helps if you have a drill press. I don't. So uh, <clears throat> this isn't a perfect hole but um, anyway I put the nut and bolt through it and that's really all there is to it. You can see the other one there I've already done. So now uh, now I can probably assemble the antenna. I picked up some two inch clamps here for this and uh, you know, the problem now is that uh, I don't know if you can see there through the window but uh, it's raining. So I think this project is uh, done for the day, and we'll pick this up another time. Alright, so I'm taking a look at part of the boom on my uh, M squared antenna, and I think I, pr I showed in a previous clip how uh, it was bent a little bit in the middle from the previous owner uh, when it had fallen, or their tower had fallen. So to kind of bend it back into shape, it really wasn't that far out, but uh, what I've done is I've jammed it just in the wheel here of my truck, and I've got it so sort of supported under the uh, the disc brake, and then uh, found a good kind of a good spot where it seemed like it was going to bend uh, to kind of correct the bow, and just was able to kind of bend down on it, and I think I've got most of the bow out of it. Now, of course, in the process. I've uh, I've bunged up the, the metal a little bit, but that's not going to matter too much. Um, so I think this is fairly straight now. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much more about it since it wasn't that far out in the first place. Okay, I'm up on the roof here. Uh, I've got the uh, the five element beam uh, sort of uh, set up for uh, temporary operation. Um, everything's kind of bolted down. It's not uh, not exactly as I would want for permanent installation, uh, but it's good enough to uh, test everything out. You can see there's no real weatherproofing on the coax there or any of that, and uh, certainly no uh, no rotator at this point. I don't I don't have anything like that here. Uh, but now uh, I'm going to go in and just uh, 
just check it out and uh, see what's going on. And uh, got well, got it pointed east here, um, which is sort of uh, the direction that uh, that I think most of the local contacts I'll make are from here. But being in New England, most of the DX is uh, going to be to my west. So uh, I may rethink the uh, the direction everything is pointed in. But okay, there's a uh, another view of the uh, six meter five element M squared Yagi and uh, pointing east.